that there's one God. And that, that one God he is incredible because there are four amazing things about him. He's all loving, he's all powerful, he's always available, and he loves everyone exactly the same. But that one God is unique because in him there are three persons. There's God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. And they work as a brilliant team, far better than Man United are at the moment. Um, because probably because God the Father and not David Moyes is the management uh, of it. And they work as a great team. Sorry, that was, a, that was one of my expectations today. Is, are we going to get three points at lunchtime? Yeah. Uh, no, probably not. Um, they work as a brilliant team because over a period of six days they made everything that now is that once wasn't so that you and me could see and believe how fantastic a God he is. Now some people are looking puzzled right now. So let's go right back to the beginning because I did say that there was one God. And that, that one God really is fantastic because uh, it, there are four amazing things about him. He's all loving, all powerful, always available, and he loves everybody exactly the same. And I did tell you that there were three persons in that one God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And they work as a great team because over a period of six days they made everything that now is, that once wasn't, so you and me could believe how fantastic a God he is. Now... When I was telling you about Father, Son and Holy Spirit, the great thing is, is that God the Father wants us to have a friendship and a relationship with him. And that's why he sent Jesus to die on the cross. And the Holy Spirit brings it all to life because Jesus said he will lead you in all truth and tell you everything that I have done. Now I know what some of you are thinking right now. You're thinking, what's under that hand? And the second thing you're thinking is, Paul, will you move that hand? That's not a problem. There we go. Okay. And I can move it sideways as well. Um, but the problem is, you see, you can't see the Holy Spirit because Jesus said he's like the wind. You don't see where he comes, you don't see where he goes. But seeing as this is a, a special event today, we'll actually let you see that he is actually there. So we've got God the Father, God the Son and God the Holy Spirit, who we did say worked as a team over a period of six days. That was some, uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and he had the next day off. And uh, that was Friday, that was yesterday, so you can't see that one. Because that was last week. But I will let you see next week's, okay? <laughs> because it really is there. Now, here's the amazing thing with God. You see, God the Father really does love us and wants us to experience all his love uh, for each one of us. And Jesus comes into the world to demonstrate the love of God by dying on the cross for you and for me. And the Holy Spirit comes to change our lives from the inside out. And when we, when we begin that relationship and friendship with God, what God does on the inside, he opens up our eyes and we suddenly realise there was more with God than what could ever possibly meet the eye. So that's, uh, 